What's up guys? Today we're going to be working on the 10 gallon riparium. Um, you may already be able to tell, I mean, they're kind of hidden behind the plants, but uh, today we're going to be adding fish and plants to the riparium. Uh, hopefully I didn't just move out of frame. That would be really awkward. But um, I went to the Lowe's today, just like doing some other stuff for my other job, uh, buying tools, and I, you know, can never help myself. Walked over to the plant section, bought a few little things for the riparium that I thought would do good, and today we're gonna plant some stuff, and I'll show you guys uh, the fish that I added a few weeks ago, so that'll just, you know, kind of come in, let's say, right now. So yeah, that was a, uh, I don't remember exactly what I filmed. This was like weeks ago, but the cardinal sedges are in there right now. They're doing really well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them in there. The fish that I want are not cardinal tetras in here. Um, I haven't been able to find them. I found a very, very, very similar species to the fish that I want for this tank, but I'm not sure if I'm going to pull the trigger on them because they're not exactly the same. Um, but yeah, so today, now that you've seen the fish, we're going to add these plants. So first things first, we've got the good old, uh, uh, I know what these plants are, but I've never said them out loud, only in my head. Um, uh, Diefenbachia maculata, so that's this little guy. Um, well, not little guy, big guy. So this is gonna be obviously one of the bigger plants. I'm gonna plant it in two spots. This needs to get sort of big. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I want to plant the riparium, this is kind of just a trial run. I've never really had it grow really well. So I just want to throw a bunch of stuff in there and see what it looks like when it's like dense. This little guy is a maiden's hair fern. There aren't very many ferns that can deal with really like uh, really, really wet roots 24 seven, like you would have in a riparian, but a maiden's hair fern from the research I've done is one of the ones that can grow in the water basically. So this should go really well. I think I'm gonna plant it around um, the wood, either right at the base of the wood or something like that, or hopefully on the wood. Um, if it grows really well, I'll probably plant it right at the edge of the wood in the planter. And if it grows really well, I'll get another one and plant it on the wood. And then this is just a little air plant that I bought today. But yeah, so um, next up we have, uh, this is a Bowles Periwinkle. Vinca minor, um, it's a little trailing plant. I don't know if this is, I haven't checked whether or not these two, actually these little guys, are safe for the riparium. I'm gonna have to do research real quick. Um, not very prepared for this video, but uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research. This is a Vigoro Lysimachia, or Lysimachia. Um, it's just a gorgeous little um, vine plant. Really hope it can grow in here. If not though, I mean, that's fine too. I'd be very happy with this just growing somewhere else in my house. Um, I'm glad I got it. I love I love little like ficus stuff like this, ficus style stuff. But I'll probably throw this little guy somewhere over here. And then um, I just knocked over the air plant, no. Um, but yeah, I'll, well, I'll just, I'll show you once I start figuring out where I want plants. And then this is a, a bonsai. So not really related, but I bought it today. Um, it's not actually a bonsai. This is not sold as a bonsai or marketed as a bonsai. It's just a, a juniper, a blue juniper. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make it into a bonsai. So that's a, a different thing for myself. But yeah, so time to start getting all the dirt off the roots and cleaning up these plants and getting them in the tank. All right, so I decided not to use that other plant. Um, it just didn't look like something that would grow well in you know this kind of situation but i'm still going to use this this is the creeping jenny i found out that's the common name it's like a goldilocks creeping jenny or something i'm not sure exactly how this is going to do um or where it's going to grow i'm assuming it's probably going to grow toward the water and i'm okay with that uh it has like a look really similar to uh brazilian pennywort or hydro sp japan but a little bit different 
we may incorporate some of those plants in here if these kind of die off and I like the look or something like that. But these guys, since they're the biggest, these are probably going to go in first. I think I want to put one back here, somewhere around there. And then the fern, I want to be kind of on the wood. So I don't know whether or not I wanted to sort of stick it like that and just leave it right there and hope it does well or actually try to plant it in the riparian planter. Um, I'll probably start off with the planter and then maybe further on along the lines, maybe get another one, stick it up here or something and one down here and just have a bunch of ferns. I love ferns, so I mean, I can never have too many, but I just totally remembered I forgot to trim these roots. So we're gonna do that real quick. Um, just a quick little trim. These roots are really big. Where are my planting tongs? Well, that sucks. They're there. Psych! Got them right here. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, trim this little guy. Oh, this big guy, it's the biggest plant in here. Just give it a quick little haircut. Make it easier to work with. Trimming roots can also promote new root growth. And then I'm just gonna stick this guy. I think it's probably best if I can try to get him as leftward as possible. Um, that's where the philodendron is. This guy's not doing well in there. Oh, it's kind of regrown. I'm gonna stick this back over here. Hopefully that grows. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, wow, that's a piece of wood. What the hell? Um, the philodendron's planted right here, so it's kind of, I don't really have a lot of room over here, but I'm gonna try to wing this, maybe pull some of these rocks out. Um, let's see what we can do. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, maybe not. Okay, here we go. these guys grow that would be really awkward if I put all these guys in here and they just freaking died or something um all right next up we've got the fern that's the one I'm really excited about just gonna give these roots a little bit of a snip a big root system it's got some other like material in the roots like it was rooted into rock wool or something I'm not really sure what it is it's like black rock wool Maybe we should, yeah, we'll go back over to the side for now. is probably to try to plant it laterally so it grows along the planter because um, it's not going to grow up so just give it a quick little trim <laughs>
bad. Once these plants sort of get acclimated, I think this might look pretty cool. Yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty sweet. You might be able to, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's some, you can kind of see some of there. Added some bucavalandra, just one here, 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 and here. Um, there's probably some more in there, I just don't know where I put them. They're really hard to attach, so I'm probably just gonna wait until I do a big water change, and then I'll drain the whole tank and then glue in some more buke down there. Um, also need to trim the moss a little bit, but we'll worry about that later. But yeah, hopefully all these plants don't die. I'm not sure exactly what I want next, plant-wise. Um, so like I said, I haven't looked too much into the planting uh, of a riparium. I don't know much about planting ripariums. Um, I need to do research, that's all, all I really need to do. I used to know, but then I never really did it. But anyway, so this is gonna, we're just gonna let this grow for a while and see what happens. I kind of want a dwarf papyrus. I really like the way they look, like, contrasty to because they're really similar to uh parlor palms i used to have a bunch of parlor palms in here but they all died um hopefully they grow back but anyway yeah that's the riparian cardinal tetras soon we'll have some other really cool fish down there but that's it for now thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys next time